When I think of data modernization, what I'm really thinking of is application modernization because you know, we deal with these businesses day in and day out, uh, kind of consulting on them and how to hit their key objectives. And it always comes down to some application is really the business. We think about the gravity and the weight of data that it is growing exponentially, right? It's bad due to the quality and the quantity of the sensors, due to machines creating and analyzing the data. And that often forces and requires new architectures to handle that. Not that the old architectures were bad, but they weren't built for today. There's an organic transition happening in the IT industry, and it's not keeping the business up and running, it's how can you help the business move forward. That transition you're seeing with the next generation of solutions that are coming out, so you have the ability to upgrade solutions without taking systems down. You have the ability to add capacity, which is enabling IT teams to actually work on the business how can I help the organization make money versus keeping the lights on? Managing storage day in and day out, it's just not something that immediately derives value to a company. And I don't know that people fully understand that. Storage needs to be an enabler. Storage is one of the most critical assets that any company has because it hosts and protects their data. So you do need to be able to manage the data, but you should not spend all of your time managing the actual storage. We actually found what most of our customers find is that as, as you start to bring in more and more data, it's actually not too hard as long as you're doing simple logging and basic reporting kind of thing. But as soon as you get to doing advanced analytics and machine learning, the costs skyrocket. That's where you may need to embrace a hybrid cloud approach to be able to extract some of those economies of scale where you need it from an on-premises standpoint. Challenges would be access to the data. Are you wanting to access the data in your own compute farm, in your own data center? Do you want to connect that up to a cloud potentially to leverage a much larger uh, farm of compute? Access via mobile applications. Do I need this data on my phone or is it something where I actually just want the results on my phone and how do I access that? I think a big one is just security as well. So. If this information is sensitive for one reason or another, how do I make sure that I have access to it and I have access to the right pieces of data but I'm not exposing my organization or potentially a client or a customer? All of those things are, are really important when you're triangulating what am I trying to do for myself or my customers and what products and what portfolio is going to enable me to do that in a better way. So there was an oil and gas exploration company that was focused on imaging analysis. And they were getting to the point where, say, 14,000 square miles was an image, and that was hundreds of terabytes of data. To satisfy that previously, it took them 50 racks of legacy storage. It's a lot of space, it's a lot of administration, people maintaining it, cost. With the Pure platform, they were actually able to bring that down to 4U. And that actually came with the same throughput that you had from 50 racks of storage. So that is where it didn't just take satisfy the business requirement, but when they were at 50 racks of storage to satisfy this, the growth impact was very challenging as the business kept growing. When they were to satisfy that same requirement in 4U, it gave them the flexibility to continue growing a lot faster, as well as the people that were doing some of that work were able to do work with taking the underlying simplicity of the platform and integrating that into other systems instead of just being the standalone monolith that you must pour your life into and kneel down to maintain every day because is what rules your world. The ones that are trying to stay very successful and ahead of the game, they'll look at me and say, we are willing to completely disrupt ourselves, whether that means technologically or from a people process perspective. And what that ultimately ends up being a lot of times is, is instead of managing specifically to what we can do, we kind of need to manage to where we need to be. And we have to invest in our people to be able to come along for that ride. So the people need to get on board culturally to be able to say, I'm going to make a change. I'm going to embrace this shift. And we're going to change the way this company works. Even though we've been successful forever, we need to look at a new way of doing it. And so that's bar none. The, the top thing is disrupting your own business before someone else does. Let us come to your table, understand your problems, understand where you want to go. Not only today, not tomorrow, not even next year, but where do you see yourself in the next five to 10 years? And let us help you really architect that solution that makes the most sense. We've been here for 30 years for a reason because we are good at delivering that customer experience and solving problems for our customers.